Hello YouTube. Okay, this is going to be a little review for Windows XP mode. I'm going to show you what Windows XP mode is, okay? Starting off, to get Windows XP mode, you have to go to the Microsoft website to get it. And Windows XP mode is is a pre-installed copy of Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3 and it's actually a licensed copy the only way you can get this copy is if you're running Windows 7 Professional Enterprise or Ultimate but there is a hack to get it to work with Home Premium and it comes features. You even have USB support. You can like adjust the settings for integration and file sharing from your Windows 7 host. And you can install normal programs. When you install when you set it up by default, normally you get Internet Explorer 6 and Windows Media Player 9. And as you see, this is Internet Explorer 8. You can install any version of Internet Explorer that you desire. Out of 7 or 8, this is Internet Explorer 8. As you see. Actually, this is the latest version you can use on XP. And you even have a choice to install Media Player 10 or 11. This is Windows Media Player 11. Yeah, I was able to install this with no problem. It was able to validate without a problem. And you can still use like other programs with it, like old versions of Microsoft Office or things of that nature. You can even install programs like Firefox or Google Chrome. I installed Google Chrome because it's more lightweight. And you gotta have like an additional gig of RAM to use XP mode. By default it set the virtual RAM to 512 megabytes. So it's not an additional gig of and I'm actually running Windows 7 on 4 gigabytes of RAM and I'm running Windows 7 64 bit and you got still got the basic Windows XP programs they removed some of the wallpapers let me show you how it handles YouTube let's look up a oh, Windows XP video that I got I'm gonna look them on my virtual PC videos. Yeah, it's a little sluggish as you see. Let's go to this video. It's able to handle Flash with no problem with YouTube. Yeah, that's an old video I done last year. As you see, it's originally uploaded May 21st, 2010. It may take a while for the video to buffer a little bit due to my internet connection because I'm using a DL DSL connection. And as you see, I enabled the quick launch bar. Uh, that's not uh, like I was saying. Enough messing around with YouTube, and I can use a USB device from my main PC to the virtual machine. Cause as you see, Windows Seven 
XP mode includes the USB support for the guest OS. You can even put the virtual machine to sleep. And you can adjust the settings for the tools as you see. Let's see what tools we can use. If I can get to the integration features. You can use the audio, the clipboard, and same printers and smart cards. Things like stuff like that. No, no, I didn't. Let me see if I have the automatic updates on. Right now it's set to automatic. Let me adjust that to download the updates for me, and but let me choose them because. It's not like we're going to be installing updates. And the only way to shut down is... I had to set it to where it will download the updates for me. That's just one update and I ain't going to bother with that anyways. Let's go ahead and log off. As you see, it's going to shut down the virtual machine. Let's go to close. It's yeah, set to hibernate. Now I don't want to hibernate, I don't want to shut it down. Completely. Hang on a minute. I'm back. I have to um fix the settings so it'll shut down for the virtual machine. It's very simple to use. And sometimes you can turn off the integration features so you can use the just the virtual machine without you know having all the worry about all that hassle. You don't have to hesitate, as you see. And I'm using my other laptop ha that has Windows X, Windows 7 Professional. Sorry for that, because I got a little speech impairment. Because I stutter sometimes. Yeah, some people may understand what I go through. Lol. As you see, it's going to shut down. I'm going to talk to you guys later. I hope this will let you laugh. Like I was saying, I hope this video helped you learn the basics of XP mode. And the only way to get this, you must have a genuine copy of Windows 7 to install XP mode. And if you need a video on how to download it, please send me a request and I'll do a video for that for you guys. Okay? See ya.